Yeah, this is a tale. A tale, oh yeah. A tale of two hygienists. So there might be only one. Bringing the best of dental knowledge. And we do it all with ease. We cover oral health and screening. And preventing gum disease. We're gonna do a lot of learning. And have a little bit of fun working at the dentist. A tale of two hygienists. Welcome, everybody, to a bonus episode of A Tale of Two Hygienist. This episode is part of a special series we're doing in conjunction with Celerant Consulting Group and their Best of Class Hygiene Award winners. If you're not familiar with this, here's just a little bit of background. Since 2009, there has been a special committee of clinicians that would evaluate as many products and technologies as they could. And the best of the best would be winners of an annual award called the Celerant Best of Class Technology Award. Now, these clinicians, they were not compensated for their efforts in this evaluation process, which is a really important point because it led to an unbiased, nonprofit, and kind of a transparent process. So realizing, though, that the everyday dental hygienist could also benefit from such a model, Dr. Lou Schumann developed an additional branch for hygiene. So for this special series, our plan is to highlight one winner each episode and dig a little bit deeper into why they won the award. For this week's episode, we bring on a favorite of ours, Elevate Oral Care, and you'll hear just how successful they have been with this award in just a minute. I also want to thank Brooke Crouch for leading this bonus episode. She works for Elevate, but also sits on the best of class hygiene panel. And we talk a little bit about how that works and how we maintain honest and ethical nominations and voting. So here's Brooke. A tale of two hygienists. All right, so welcome to our special bonus episode of A Tale of Two Hygienists, where we're highlighting the winners of the Celerant Best of Class Hygiene Awards. And my name is Brooke Crouch, and I'm excited that we today have Elevate Oral Care with us to talk about their wins for the Celerant Best of Class Hygiene Award. I'm really excited. I, I wish we had a little applause button. Like, yay, I know, good like, job. Yay. Well, because they're, they're multiple winners, right? Like, what? Tell me more about what they won. Yeah, so this year they won for our Advantage Arrest Silver Diamine Fluoride, our Fluoramax Varnish, and our All Day Dry Mouth Spray, which is super exciting to win for, you know, one company to win three awards. And this was actually their second year winning for Advantage Arrest and the Fluoramax Varnish. So amazing. really amazing, really exciting to have them here. Yeah. So can we maybe give the listeners a little bit of like behind the scenes? Because I think a lot of people know, Brooke, that you work with Elevate Oral Care. Mm -hmm. Like that's your that's your life. Yeah. Um, and I, I, it can kind of be a little bit like, well, she like stacking the votes over there. Like, <laughs> how did they win? So can maybe let's do you mind just walking through the process of like how we do the voting and, and all of that? Absolutely. Yeah. So we've got a group, you know, it's a group of us that Throughout the year, we are adding products to a spreadsheet, things we come across, things that really set themselves apart in the hygiene world. And that really ranges, right? So even the winners, it ranges from a particular type of floss. It could be a dry mouth product. It could be, again, a varnish. It could be um, a Cavitron. I mean, it really ranges. So we keep this running list going and then we come together to vote through and just kind of really hammer out to why is this better it and as we <laughs> battle it out and you know go through that process and while products make their way on the list um you know we can come and, and advocate for it if it is a company so like in this instance i can give all the great benefits as to why these products deserve the win but when it comes to the actual voting process, you know, I have to recuse myself. So, mm -hmm. and all of us are that way. You know, several of us that are on the panel work for companies that are nominated. And when it comes to the process of actually being able to vote, you know, that we then have to recuse ourselves if we work for the company. Which I think just goes to show like, you know, the fact that Elevate's won multiple times, like we, all of us on the panel really, really believe in it. And we've seen it, a lot of us have seen it in our patients. And well, you guys saw that I have it here on my desk, but my family uses it too. So if it's good enough for my family, I think that they should win, right? So, okay, well, who do we have on our show today, Brooke? So we've got Erica Oldrar with us and Haley Buckner. I'm going to let them introduce themselves to kind of tell, tell the listeners what their roles are with Elevate. And so let's see, Erica, do you want to go first? Sure. So my name's Erica, and I've been with Elevate for about six years now. I'm their product and business development manager. So I am a brand manager for the all day dry mouth line. 
And I, I'm Haley Buckner, and I too have been with Elevate for about six years now. And I come with a history of being a dental hygienist first, and then now I've taken on a couple of different roles with Elevate, but most recently I am our professional relations manager. So I get the opportunity to work with a lot of the dental industry's key opinion leaders and influencers out there just to kind of let them know who Elevate is and to keep them up to date on what's the latest in prevention. And Andrew, I do want to share with our listeners, because I think this is so telling of Elevate as a company. So, you know, I'm a hygienist as well. And I got to know Elevate. I was working in public health, so we were using their Advantage RS. So I knew them for that particular product. I also have Sjogren, so I got to know them for their dry mouth product and kind of started to work with them a little bit on that particular product. And even before I had worked with them on the dry mouth product, we had the, the office I was working in. We tried their Floor Max varnish at a conference, and it was such a different product than anything we had used before. We switched everything over. So I've actually known them for their products and for their innovation before I was ever an employee or someone working, you know, for the company. And you know, it was kind of, it was having all of these great experiences and the great products to then say hey, this is a company I want to work for and, and grow with. So their products really do speak for themselves. And they both, both of our, Erica and Haley with us today are um, just amazing out there getting the word out about the products, whether it's, you know, staff meetings are all day line, KOLs, everything. I don't know if I ever told you this, Brooke, but, you know, we actually use that. I worked at a different DSO before I, where I'm at now. And we, I think we're pretty early adopters with Advantage Arrest. I mean, we had a whole carries risk, you know, classification system we had in our software and mm-hmm. we had to fill it out. And then we had to document, you know, how often we were using it and how we were using it, like the technique to apply it. Like there was so much documentation. Awesome. And then we saw over the years, like years we were doing this, the successes that were coming out, especially in pediatrics. We had a lot of pediatrics in there. So, you know, I've, I've, I've just been a fan for years and I've loved it too, just like you have. Yeah. 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 It's awesome. And I'm, I'm excited for us to kind of share a little bit about, what makes these products, you know, a little bit more about them and why they got the ones that they got. So do you want to dive into those a little bit more? All right. So you just want me to tell you a little bit about Advantage Rest? Yeah. Okay, cool. So Advantage Rest, like Andrew, like you were saying, it's great to hear that you guys were able to implement it into the DSO that you previously worked in and then now as well, because Advantage Rest has just been honestly a miracle worker. It's a silver diamine fluoride is the product. It's a 38% silver diamine fluoride and it's FDA cleared as a dental hypersensitivity treatment, which it does wonders for patients that have any hypersensitivity. So you can apply it to those sensitive areas and pretty instantly those patients will experience some sensitivity relief and it will not stain or discolor sound or healthy tooth structure. So that's something to point out because when we think of SDF, a lot of times we Think about that dark stain right away. And there's many uses beyond Carrie's arrest where you can utilize this and it will not discolor the tooth surface. So don't be afraid to use it for all sorts of benefits to the patients. But so right off the bat, like I said, the sensitivity benefit, but most people use it uh, just like you described for Carrie's arrest. So, and you'll be able to see the difference it makes in patients, like you said. So it is off label to use it to arrest decay, but you can apply it to a carious lesion and Usually within about 24 to 48 hours, the infection in that tooth will be arrested and that tooth will begin to completely harden and remineralize. So it works very quickly. And once you have that little stained arrested lesion in that patient's mouth, that sits in there and keeps those little silver and fluoride ions in there to act as a reservoir. So it will continue to offer prevention throughout the rest of that patient's dentition. So you see a full mouth benefit, even when you're just applying this to, you know, one or two lesions in that patient's mouth. And then preventive wise, you can use this on high risk areas to patients to prevent decay from happening. So if you've got some areas, maybe some unsealed occlusal surfaces, um, interproximal areas, buckle pits, frications, any of those areas that are higher risk, you can apply silver diamine fluoride site specifically to those areas. And it offers greater prevention than any other fluoride treatment does on the market. There was a great study that came out of the California Dental Association Journal And it cited that when talking about prevention, if you apply silver diamine fluoride annually, it offers greater prevention than if you were to treat a patient with four fluoride varnish treatments in a year. So again, just cite specifically to those high-risk sites, and you see a great big benefit on prevention for those patients as well. 
it seems like there's like a wide range of patients you could use it for, right? Like if I'm putting in for patients of my, my geriatric populations, they're going to be like super protected. But then you have like, why well, I worked with pedo, like pediatrics was like, you know, we used on almost all the teeth because I mean, it's site, that whole site specific thing is every site is specific. On those te- those <laughs> yeah. kids. Sometimes that is. <laughs> And that's a good thing about silver diamine fluoride, though. It has a great safety profile, too. So you don't have to be worried that you're going to be applying too much, you know, site specifically just because you don't want to stain something that you weren't anticipating. But really, it has a very large safety margin with it. So nothing to be worried about there. I love that. I love that. And it's so awesome. Well, don't you think, too, with Andrew, you mentioned this about like you guys were using it a lot for pediatrics and, you know, the nursing home population, our older patients, that's another huge space where advantage of rest is being used. So it does have such a wide range of like uses, but also ages too. So it really does, it has the ability to help people of all ages. Yeah, I'm glad that you said that, Brooke, because, you know, right off the bat, when this product first launched in the United States, the pediatric dentists and groups were really the ones to take off with it. And it has been very successful and it definitely makes sense in that population. But more and more now we're finding our general dental offices are incorporating it with patients of all ages. You know, think about how often you have teenagers come in and they have multiple radiolucencies on those interproximal areas. And a lot of times we'll kind of watch those, but this way we can be much more proactive and we can apply silver diamine fluoride to arrest those early interproximal lesions. And that way we're not just kind of sitting back and watching it grow. We're, we're, you know, preventing future decay and arresting what's already active in that patient's mouth. So, and then, yeah, like you mentioned, all the way up to our geriatric population, you know, a lot of those patients don't want to go through restorative care. And this way we can easily apply this on, arrest those lesions, get them comfortable and, you know, have a a preventive benefit too. And also we actually see now a soft tissue benefit too. So Andrew, I'm not sure if you've noticed that when you've been working with silver diamine fluoride, but there's been some recent studies out showing that it not only has a huge benefit to that hard tissue, but also the surrounding soft tissue inflammation they see an improvement on as well. So it's in this round Super well, exciting. I wasn't monitoring that, but that's something that in the future <laughs> I'll, I'll want to monitor. Yeah. That's great. Definitely check it out. All right. Absolutely. What what are we going to talk about next? What product? Why don't we go to our all day? Sure. You just want me to tell you a little bit about it? Please. Yeah. So the thing that's probably most known about the all day spray is that it's 44% xylitol. Honestly, we picked 44 because that's the most we could fit into the formula without it turning into xylitol powder. Um, (laughs) Everyone knows we love xylitol, so we wanted to really pack the dry mouth spray with that. So they're getting those bacteriostatic benefits as well as the stimulating saliva benefits. It's got a patented mucoadhesive method. So what that means is our unique mucoadhesive we put in there it's going to have a mode of action that holds the xylitol and the moisture against your oral mucosa for a longer time. So that was a method we were able to patent with the formula. And it's pretty interesting. We actually got that patent by removing our muco adhesive and replacing it with some other common ones. And none of them were able to perform the way the all day did. So it really shows that you're getting that long xylitol exposure and longer moisture relief, which is what the patients are really caring about at the end of the day. Beyond that, the pH is neutral, which is surprisingly uncommon for dry mouth products. Uh, Your dry mouth patients are high risk, so you don't want to be putting something in their mouth that is acidic. And unfortunately, there's a lot of the big name brands out there that do have an acidic product. So it was really important for us to have something that was neutral, help the patients achieve better buffering with that, especially if they're putting it in their mouth all day long. No pun intended. (laughs) The spray is just really convenient for on the go. We sell it in two packs, which makes it great for patients that want to keep one on their bedside or in their purse, in their car, wherever they need it. And we actually just launched a gel that's basically the same formula with a thicker consistency. So it's a great sister product for the spray. And that's for those patients that want to use it at nighttime that need a stronger dry mouth relief. So who are the patients that would benefit the most from an all-day spray? I mean, could I benefit from it as just like an everyday Andrew hygienist guy? (laughs) Yeah, of course. I mean, especially because you're podcasting, you're really probably going to appreciate the moisturization with that if you get a dry mouth while you're talking. But it's predominantly elderly patients, autoimmune diseases, prescription medications, which is most people these days. A lot of the prescription medications do have side effects of dry mouth, and a lot of people aren't even aware of them. 
So I think it's really important for hygienists to be looking at their medical charts and maybe talking to their patients about that without the patient even realizing they're experiencing it. And it even goes beyond that. We're actually uh, working with Carrie from Sugar Bugs. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with her, yeah, we but like we're Carrie. donating. <laughs> yeah, she's great. We're donating a lot of all day spray for her kids' cancer kits. And you wouldn't think that children would be a primary market for a dry mouth spray, but you never know if they're on many multi uh, medications or if they're going through something like cancer or an autoimmune disease. It's really important for all of them to get something that's going to help give them relief and also protect their oral health at the same time. It's a population that you don't, I don't want to say that they're overlooked, but you don't really think about that as so much, but it's such a need. So that's, that's clever. I like it. <laughs> well, and like, I, I feel like I've heard a lot of feedback from people going through like chemo or radiation for any kind of cancer. Like our brains always kind of go to like head and neck cancer, that they're probably the ones that are going to be most impacted. But I've got doctors who have you know, whether it be family members going through breast cancer treatment or other forms of chemo and radiation, and they are complaining of oral health complications. And that's a perfect candidate for our gel, for our spray, you know, to have both of those products together, because those are, those are patients that really could benefit from that, that lubrication. And I think just like Erica was talking about, you know, these patients that deal with dry mouth, they don't, they don't, our patients don't correlate their dry mouth as to that making them a high risk patient. They don't so put the, you know, two and two together. They just think I have a dry mouth. I drink a lot of water. I try to chew gum. I try to do things to relieve the symptoms, but they're not thinking that, Hey, this one thing makes me a very high risk dental patient. And that's that they have good oral health, you know? So it really is our job as hygienists to, when we have that time, we're going through the medical history. We see, you know, a history of chemo and radiation because even you know, a past experience with that, you could still have long-term effects of oral complications. So it's really our job to look at that medical history and talk to them about dry mouth, ask if they deal with the symptoms, and then raise the awareness that, hey, that makes you a really high-risk dental patient. So you might not feel like your mouth stays very dry, but you are high risk. So we want to give you as many xylitol exposures as possible. Here's a really easy form that's not going to just help with the xylitol exposure, but it's also going to taste good and it's going to make your mouth feel better. So it's so much you know, more than like the product recommendations that we make for this particular product. I'm, I am partial to this because I have Sjogren's, so I have a personal investment in it, but it really does. I mean, as someone that deals with it, I've said this multiple times that we really have the ability to in, improve a patient's quality of life when we can help recommend something that makes a difference. Because there's a lot of things out there that just patients wouldn't report makes a big difference. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Should we go to Floramax? Yes. Let's go to Floramax. Let's do it. Yeah. So Floramax is awesome. It's our fluoride varnish. So in-office application and it's very unique. And I'm sure you hear that every time you hear about a new fluoride varnish, but ours really is unique. It has a different chemical makeup than traditional fluoride varnish. So whereas most fluoride varnishes on the market are made up of a colophony base from that pine resin or tree sap base, we eliminated that because that's the feel to the teeth that patients dislike. That's that thick, sticky feel. And so we removed that to make it more comfortable for patients, but also to make the fluoride uptake more effective. So ours is a shellac base, which sounds weird, but it's uh, very common. It's a food grade shellac. So if you were to go to the grocery store today and buy an apple, most likely has a very thin shellac coating around that apple. And that's the base to Floramax. So it makes it about 40 times thinner than traditional fluoride varnish. So much more comfortable to the patient. And then also it's going to be completely hypoallergenic since we removed that colophony base. You don't have to worry about any of those pine or tree nut concerns that you have to worry about with other varnishes. Okay. Another benefit of Floramax is that it is hydrophilic, which means you actually want to keep the teeth moist when you're applying it. So that's wonderful. You know, patients have saliva. We're working in the mouth, which is a moist environment. So to try to dry the teeth off to make your application successful can be tricky. So with this one, having that moist environment is a benefit to it when you're applying it which makes the application so easy. You just apply a very thin application to buckle surfaces only and just a single swipe across that dentition. So with that too, it becomes very cost effective. We do have a unit dose option, but a lot of people prefer our multi-dose bottle system. 
So it allows you to just dispense what you need. It's like one or two drops for a majority of your patients. And then you just do that single swipe, like I mentioned, across the dentition. And it makes for a very quick, easy application. It's comfortable to the patients and they can eat or drink right away. And then having that shellac base too, it makes the fluoride so much more bioavailable. So it leads to a much better fluoride uptake with it. And one other great thing about the varnish is that it's not heat sensitive. So not only do they not have to wait to eat or drink, they also do not have to avoid hot liquids because we all know those patients that like to tell us that they don't want to do their fluoride varnish because they haven't had their coffee yet. That's no longer an excuse with Fluormax varnish. Now you all on this podcast and the listeners, they all know I love podcasting. Podcasting is amazing. We learn so much. However, I feel like as a person who's also let me see it and, and handle it in my hands, I feel like that's a really important thing. I know you guys all do visits to offices. So do you mind taking the last couple of minutes we have for this and just kind of addressing that if someone wanted to you know, get more education, hands-on education, what that looks like? Absolutely. Yeah. So we have a team of preventive care consultants throughout the United States, many of which are hygienists, and they can come right into the office and do a free continuing education staff meeting with your entire team. And we highly encourage the entire team to be there because our team members go through everything from how to conduct a caries risk assessment, which I know you mentioned your DSO did that, Andrew, and that's music to our ears. We want to help offices better implement and easily implement a caries risk assessment so that we can identify our patient's risk level. And then the consultant can work with your team to help them not only come up with some different treatment options for those patients, both in office and at home, but also the communication factor that goes into it. Our team can teach your team how to use motivational interviewing to really help increase patient compliance and acceptance of treatment. So it helps your patients become healthier. It helps that bottom dollar in your office as well. So our consultants will really bring a lot of value when they come into your team. Love it. I love it. So how can they schedule one? Yes, you guys can reach out to us through our website. We're elevateoralcare.com. And there's a little spot that you can, at the bottom of the page where you can find your consultant. You just put in your zip code and your consultant will pop right up for you. You can request a staff meeting and they'll be right in touch with you. Okay. So I absolutely think everyone needs to do this. However, there's also like, we have patients that need it now. So how can we get this into our patients' hands right now? What can they find available? So if patients are looking to buy it directly, the quickest way is probably going to be Amazon for them. Everyone loves that two-day prime shipping. It's also available on walmart.com and our all-day drymouthrelief.com. But offices can purchase it and dispense it directly to their patients. So if you want it in your office, you see a patient with dry mouth, you can give them one bottle and tell them where they can go purchase it at home or they can keep coming back to the office to get it from you. For those offices that don't want to dispense, we've also got some great patient communication that you can keep in the office. So you can just tear off a sheet of paper and give it to your patient that explains why you think this brand is what they should try and where they can purchase it. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you both so much for being on. I really appreciate your time. Thank you guys for having us. Well, Brooke, Thank thanks. You. Bye, guys. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Thanks. Yeah, this is a tale. A tale. Oh, yeah. A tale of two hygienists. So there might be only one bringing the best of dental knowledge. And we do it all with ease. We cover oral health and screening and preventing gum disease. We're going to do a lot of learning and have a little bit of fun working at the dentist. A tale of two hygienists.